SpongeBob? Why? Why did you set me on fire, SpongeBob? Why didn't you just write your essay? Stop wasting time! Okay. All right, welcome to another High School Principal Reacts. My name is Brandon, and I'm a principal from the U.S. state of Georgia. I had this episode of SpongeBob SquarePants recommended to me by several viewers. Uh, I do not know what it's about. It's called Procrastination. I assume it's about him, well, procrastinating. Um, I really don't know anything about it, so I'm going to react to it right now here with you. Just a reminder, if you're enjoying this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get right into it. Destination. Okay, class, quiet, quiet. Now, get out your pencils and paper and write down the assignment. Get old Mrs. Puff. Oh, Did you hear that? We got an assignment. Everyone must write an essay on what not to do at a stoplight. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? What not to do at a stoplight. They get to write a whole essay about it. I can imagine SpongeBob making something silly out of that. <laughs> Just a giant list of stuff not to do at a stoplight. I can think of a few. In no less than 800 words. Oh. 800 oh, words. 800 words? Yeah, I know. Do tomorrow. And remember, class, work hard and no goofing off. <laughs> okay, Gary, no goofing off. I am about to write the greatest essay of all time. Like most great essays, it will be written on paper. I'm guessing somewhere Even in here he procrastinates. The paper is the pencil. A pencil as sharp or as dull as I like. <laughs> Funny. And I've heard of people being partial to specific uh, types of pencils, even brands. Um, some people are kind of crazy about that. As my ideas grow, you shrink. <laughs> well, I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day to write an essay. Mm. Okay, here we go. What not to do at a stoplight. Hey, this is easy. By SpongeBob Square Pants. Yeah, that part's <laughs> easy. This essay is pure gold. And now, pencil, get ready to do your stuff because here we go. <laughs> yeah. Gee, this is hard. He's got than good I handwriting. Thought. Everybody's Come out on, having fun. Bob. It should be against the law to have to write an essay on such a super sailorific, sunshiny day. Oh, but I must press onward because with this pencil and the completion of this essay, I'll be one step closer to my driver's license. Mm -hmm. That is a boating license. Okay. Oh, yeah. This'll be no problemo. Why, I got plenty of time. It's only six o'clock. Okay. Been sitting there for three hours. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah! I know. I just need to get a little blood pumping in the old noodle. How about some calisthenics? And you know, I think it's a good idea, actually, if you're struggling with um, writing for a long period of time to kind of get up and do something else for a short period and then come back to it. The problem is I'm betting here he he just never goes back to it or somehow just keeps putting it off. We'll see. <laughs> so silly. I can feel those juices pumping now. <laughs> Oh no. SpongeBob. And I've actually known people to do this. I've probably done it myself where you move something or touch something and 
it makes a certain noise and then you end up uh, making some sort of song out of it uh, as what he's doing here. And then we'll see what happens next. <laughs> this is so silly. What am I doing? I got to write that paper. <laughs> Come on, pencil. Make words. <laughs> Gary. Hey, 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 Gary. How's my favorite mollusk? How about you let old SpongeBob fix you up something to eat? Mm. What do you mean you're not hungry? <laughs> I know I have an essay to write. Now, come on, Gary. Smell food, fud. I got to make sure you get your new trick. And a lot of people do this. They will, you know, start by just taking a break and they almost at a subconscious level don't want to do whatever the assignment is. And so they just find another thing to do and find another thing to do and sort of justify it like he's doing oh i need to feed my snail i need to do this or that and it becomes you know this long list of stuff and they never actually go back to it because on some deeper level they just don't want to put in the work and for many people um it's hard to overcome you just have to say you know i'm i'm gonna get this over with and buckle down and do it so i don't have to worry about it anymore so I'm not leaving until you eat every single bite. <laughs> okay. Gary, That's quick. Are you sure you don't want some creme brulee? Or, or some chocolate flavored algae bits? Gee, Gary sure made a mess. Oh, now he has to clean. I can't work on my essay knowing there's a mess in the kitchen. Oh, man. He's cleaning with himself. Hmm. <laughs> he is a sponge after all, I guess. I might as well clean the rest of the floor while I'm at it. I should get these hard to reach places too. And these dishes need to be cleaned. Mm. Can't have dirty garbage. <laughs> he's cleaning the garbage. Well, I think it's clean enough now. He's not taking out the garbage. He's just cleaning the garbage. That's pretty funny. Oh. Nah. <laughs> Why that didn't take too long? It's only 10 o'clock. Mm. Oh. No more fooling around. I gotta get back to work. Okay. Okay, Mr. Essay. I say, prepare to be written. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Can some of these? Can some of these? Dun. Now let's see how it looks so far. The. <laughs> all that i thought it was just going to be a bunch of uh chicken scratch or unreadable stuff uh, or just drawings but it's the word the uh written in a beautiful calligraphy with all sorts of decorations there <laughs> that's funny pacing always helps me think let's see only 799 words to go think spongebob think Hmm. Who's he going to call it? Patrick? Knowing what I know about SpongeBob now, I doubt Patrick will be able to help him very much, but let's see. Hello? Hey, Patrick, what you up to? Sleeping. That's really fascinating. Are you having a good sleep? Any dreams you'd like to discuss? <laughs> I remember on the. SpongeBob? You and I both know that you're just using me as a distraction mm -hmm. so you don't have to write your essay. Mm -hmm. oh, that, oh, that is not true. <laughs> I called to have an yes, engaging conversation with you. Well, I'm listening. Uh, Marco. Polo. <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta get going, Patrick. Got an important essay to write? Sheesh, what a chatterbox. Can't he see that I'm busy? I can't write with all these eraser shavings all over my paper. <clears throat> now they're floating around my thinking space. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so long, pesky particles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I man. One. Uh, I'm choking. Water. <laughs> water. <laughs> Isn't he surrounded by water? <laughs> that was a close one. 
What do you mean, overly dramatic, Gary? All that choking sure made me hungry. Oh, no, no. I can't write on an empty stomach, Gary. I gotta have my brain food. SpongeBob. Now, let's see. White or rye bread? Or pumpernickel? Yeah, I guess it really depends bread? on the meat inside. And the cheese. A visitor? For me? 10 o'clock at night? Hello. Package for Mr. Squarepants. Great, thanks. So, uh, you like delivering mail? It puts bread on the table. Rye or pumpernickel? Ah! Oh, brother. So, do you deliver your own mail? Or do you have your own mail person? But then who delivers his mail? Is there never any chain of mailmen delivering mail to other mailmen? Well, I guess a P.O. box could, in theory, break the chain. Don't you have a paper to write? <laughs> <laughs> Even he know knows. supposed to be writing an essay. In other news, local resident SpongeBob SquarePants only has a few hours left to complete his essay. <laughs> oh. This this show is so ridiculous, but it's funny. Um, this fish, this like dead fish, uh, or it looks like a fish that's been caught in real life wearing a suit, just kind of moving his mouth. And even he knows that SpongeBob has to write a paper. Uh, that's funny. And yet he continues to goof off. When will he learn? <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob over here. Come on, take a seat. That's scary. Put your feet up and relax. I don't think oh. I'd do it. Oh no! Midnight! <laughs> Must get back to desk. Is <laughs> <laughs> he like hallucinating? That was a close call. Ah, my pants! <laughs> Down here! You get up here! I gotta get back to work! Get up! Stop, pants! You get back here this instant! Hey. He's up so ladies delirious. Time's up. No. So creepy. Oh. Hurry! <laughs> Only 799 words to go! Because he wrote the word the. <laughs> My goodness. What have I done? Help! Help! My house is on is this fire. a dream? SpongeBob, why? Why did you set me on fire, SpongeBob? Why didn't you just write your essay? Stop wasting time! Okay, here we go. Now what time is it in real life? Where's my essay? Oh, there you are. Ah, I must have dozed off. Let's see, where are we? Do I dare look at the clock? Oh, it's almost nine o'clock! Class starts in five minutes! Nine How am I gonna write this whole paper in five minutes? How am I supposed to know what not to do at a stoplight? Ah, feeding your snail is something not to do at a stoplight. And... Yeah, I thought this topic would be pretty easy. I mean, uh, especially since in other episodes, SpongeBob seems to kind of know the you know rules of the road that he's learning in Mrs. Puff's boating school. Um, but he couldn't seem to come up with it until now. Let's we'll see. And making a sandwich and, and lighting candles and drinking water and calling your friends and mm -hmm. karate chopping the TV and shooting the breeze with the mailman. And All the stuff he did. <laughs> Mrs. Puff, Mrs. Puff, I'm finished. All 800 words. I'm finished. Here it is. Hey, Mrs. Nobody's Puff? there. Where is everybody? Oh, there you are, SpongeBob. Here you go, Mrs. Puff. 800 words. All about stoplights and what not to do, Adam. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. I tried to call you. I have to go to a teacher's convention. Uh, but what about my essay? That's kind of funny. Um, so there are, um, you, they're not really called teachers conventions, but there are professional development conferences that teachers go to depending on what they teach. So, um, but the fact that she didn't tell anybody and then, uh, just shows up the next day and is like, I've got to go. Nah, 
Now, those things are usually planned out months in advance and the, the students would know and, um, you know, assignments would be prepared long in advance and you certainly wouldn't set the due date, you know, on the day you're going to be gone. Um, so this is very unrealistic. But teachers do go to conferences from time to time. Hey, I decided to cancel the assignment. We're just going to take a field trip to a stoplight instead. Huh. See and, you know, taking a field trip can be a valuable learning experience. Uh, just the same, depending on what is being taught as writing about it. It's just a different way of, um, of getting it. Experiential learning, uh, very legitimate, very valid. Um, but the fact that she canceled the assignment in the middle of the night, an 800 word essay, um, I can see SpongeBob or some parents in a real class being pretty upset at that. See you next week. Yeah, I'd be mad too. Mm. All right. So that's the episode. That one was a little bit shorter. And a lot of it was just SpongeBob, um, his zany, crazy. I didn't know if he was hallucinating or he was dreaming or whatever. I bet some of you have had uh, not quite that experience, but some sort of experience like this where you have this um, assignment that you know is going to be a lot of hard work. You know you can do it, but it's going to be hard work. And you just somewhere deep inside yourself don't want to do it. You know, you have to do it and then you say, well, I'll just do this for a few minutes. I'll do that for a few minutes. And then before you know it, it's you've ran out of time. I know that's happened to me before uh, back as a student. So um, if you've had an experience like that, I would love to hear about it. I have a feeling that lots and lots of people have had this experience in having an essay to do and you just procrastinate over and over again until you have to uh, do it all at the last minute or forget to do it entirely. If you've had that experience, let me know. But I'll go ahead and leave the video there. Just a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and let me know what content you'd like me to react to next. This has been School Principal Reacts, and again, thanks for watching.